Hi, I'm David Wegener. This is a problem for the day or for any time. It's not going to be dated. So anyway, here is a problem that white is to give checkmate in two moves by force um, against any sort of um, defense of black. So it's two move. If it's longer than two moves, then white loses basically in problems. So here we go. Um, and the computer worked it out straight away. Okay, the computer worked it straight away out. And also, um, it was presented to the Canterbury Chess Club um, people last night at the juniors, which is a bit hard, really. And um, they were all trying all sorts of things. Um, one of them played Bishop B5, okay. Um, bishop b5, rook b4, fair enough, um, and all this sort of stuff. So it's quite good. So, but anyway, I sort of um, won't say yet what I want to say, um, but I, all I'm saying is that it's very, very good to learn these things in chess, and this position um, was sorted out very, very quickly by one of the marksmen of um, tactics from the Canterbury Chess Club, a top New Zealand chess player, and I'm not going to drop his name, I can't do that, or her name. But anyway, it was quickly um, determined what the two moves are, and he said it's a matter of process of eliminating all sorts of moves and that sort of thing, and so that's what he said. So here we have it, um, the computer as I said worked it out very very quickly and I was reasonably quick when I saw this problem out of advanced chess problems and how to solve them, edited by BP Barnes. So this is from that book, so here we go. So I will be quiet for um, some moments and then I'm going to show you the reply and I might show you what one of the exponents of chess in Canterbury found but it wasn't any good And this was, sorry, this was um, in the London, um, for the London bus drivers and that sort of thing, uh, 1962. That's the only date I'm going to give you. Now comes the clue, so if you don't want to hear a clue, um, because this could be a big clue, is we always are trying to do something in chess. Okay, I'm going to give you the, so if you don't want to see the um, the problem and its reply, this is the move here. And the computer, by the way, again, showed it straight away. And the computer gives this, this, and this. Okay, checkmate. And also, we can also do other lines. Um, but this, however, sadly fails to bishop c8 and king f3 or so, and so it's taken longer. So you can have a look at what happens with other moves after king g3. King g3, you can have a look at um, other lines, what happens, 
F bishop here. Oh, sorry, this rook's not here, is it? Yes, it. Yes, it is. So if the bishop moves here or here, so bishop here or here, it's queen b5, checkmate. If the um, knight moves here, it's queen c7, checkmate, etc. Uh, if the knight moves here, as the computer showed. So black's now strained and unable to do anything except for move their bishop or their knight. They can't move anything else because everything is pinned or stopped from moving. So that's the answer to the problem. I hope you liked it. And uh, it just reminds one, as well as myself, that we're always trying to do something in chess and you sometimes just have to do nothing. One of my juniors came up with um, what did they come up with? How was it? He's he's really good. He came up with this. He thought that I play I think he thought that he can play after Queen and Knight here, but it's not the move. Something like that. It's just Queen B4 checkmate. That's the end of this. We um we epitaph.